And once again, just setting the context for this, when we first hit the top of the atmosphere, we were at 27,650 miles per hour. We are now leisurely decelerating under our orange parachute to 11 miles per hour. Incredible amount of deceleration there as Earth's atmosphere really helped us out quite a bit getting that initial deceleration. Our drogue parachute initially stabilizing our descent and then ultimately that main parachute bringing us home. You can see right in the center of that crosshair, that is the parachute with the SRC dangling beneath. The team on the... The team on the WB-57 doing a great job. Touchdown. I repeat, EDL. SRC has touchdown. And touchdown of the Osiris Rex sample return capsule. A journey of a billion miles to asteroid Bennu and back has come to an end, marking America's first sample return mission of its kind and opening a time capsule to our ancient solar system. Unofficial touchdown time, 8.52 a.m. Mountain. And the team can now breathe an immense sigh of relief. We now have the sample return capsule, the SRC, containing pieces of the asteroid Bennu. You see the reaction there just moments ago as they got that sample back on the ground. This is the team at Lockheed celebrating that momentous achievement of getting that sample from the other side of the solar system at asteroid Bennu. When we took that sample, we were over 200 million miles away from us here on Earth. The long journey back, 1.2 billion miles from asteroid Bennu, back to here with that sample, has just come to a dramatic close. And a little bit ahead of schedule too. <laughs> the SRC landing about three minutes ahead of when we had originally predicted. It was in a rush to get back here, carrying amazing amount of scientific information within. The team is eager to crack that SRC open, get the sample canister within, and begin the process of understanding the origins of our solar system and potentially the origins of life.